the man is dead, but something shifts beneath his features. A glistening tadpole emerges, slithering up past a sightless eyeball. The same as the creature behind your eye. One squeeze should do it, but you stop short. How could you think of harming something so beautiful, so pure? The tadpole plops to the ground. Now is your chance to stomp it into the dirt. But it's too precious, too sweet, isn't it? You raise your heel and crush the parasite into the ground. Intense regret washes over you, churning your stomach. Your foot trembles. You can't do it. You couldn't possibly. It slithers away and vanishes into the undergrowth. Safe. Free. I'm trying to slither away. There are illithids at work here as well. You raise your heel and crush the parasite into the ground. Intense regret washes over you, churning your stomach. No use. Your mind is not your own. For reasons you can't explain, you want it to live. It slithers away and vanishes into the undergrowth. Safe. Free. Your foot trembles. You can't do it. You couldn't possibly. It slithers away and vanishes into the undergrowth. Safe. Free. Intention zips from your mind to your heel. You crush the tadpole into the ground and fight off the well of sorrow swelling in your chest. Your foot stops short. You want to destroy it, but you simply can't. It slinks away, worming into the forest undergrowth. It seems to curl upward in recognition, then shrinks back down, eager to escape. The tadpole slips out of its host and worms away into the undergrowth. 